presented by Sprint. Let's get right to it, fans. We got plenty of first half rivalry action to review. A tightly contested game for the Raptors up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Just one win away from moving into the eighth place in the conference, and they're definitely motivated. And on the other side, Milwaukee just keeps scrapping. Their second unit giving them instant offense. They've gone to their bench for scoring, and they've answered the call. Certainly an impressive start by Brooke Lopez. After two, he's got six points and also collected four rebounds. Let's check out what's on tap around the league. It'll be the Knicks out in New York against the Grizzlies. So we got a nice East meeting West battle happening there. That gets going 7.30 Eastern. And another game that's coming up, it'll be the 76ers against the Kings out in Sacramento. That one gets started at 8 Eastern. And that's all there is for me here in the studio. Time to send you back to my friend Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. Raptors leading by three. Passes it to Hood. Outside for Lowry. Traps in the trade. Lowry's got the first field goal of the second half for the Raptors. Well, he found the perfect spot behind New York there. Big gap in the defense. And for Milwaukee. We've got Anda Takumbo. Also, Brooke Lopez out there. Holiday out there with Chris Middleton. Toronto's gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Outside for Lowe. And again, Toronto with the triple. These defenders have better start closing out on those shoes. Yeah, that's twice in a row now where they've done exactly the opposite and backed off. Holiday off a bit for Middleton. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Here's Ande Tagumbo, defended by Hood. They get it back. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Number 43. He dishes it to Baines. Outside for Lowry. That's Lowry again missing. Well, his shot's been off today, no question. He's not the guy they're going to want to look to if they want to keep this lead where it is. Let's take a look here at the Bucks, Kevin, and how they're stacking up as this season ramps up in the NBA stats. Second in assists, third in blocks, and they also show up top five in team field goal percentage. That's excellent. Actually, that's almost, that's elite level. Dan Clark, let's go back to the assists for a second. I mean, this is what makes this team good, I think, right now. They're sharing the ball. Uh, they're getting great ball movement and spacing. And they've become so efficient offensively that uh, they've become a nightmare to guard. Inside, and he dumps it down. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but pass. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Here's Ande Tagumbo. Eight points for him. Tries again. Rebound by Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got four rebounds now tonight. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Three pointer. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. they got to find something. You're right. Stolen away. Fast break Toronto. Number 43. And he hands off the fast break with a monster slam. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Timeout called the Bucks. At this point of the game, always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the game plan, these players are getting a much needed chance to rehydrate and refuel with Gatorade. And guys, uh, we know the drill well, all three of us drinking the Gatorade too. Yeah, yeah no question. Right. I mean, Kevin, people oh, have no idea the fatigue that can set in during a telecast. And so it's important for us <laughs> to stay hydrated all game long. Clark, you're always hydrated. Yeah, I try to be, but it's usually um, with a combination of H2O and 
Gatorade. I love Gatorade. Look at Steve. He has the Gatorade shirt on. <laughs> yeah, he's all, he's really immersed in the Gatorade. Yeah. Gotta yeah. love it. <laughs> Number 24. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. He's got nine. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Lowry kicks to Baines. Number 43, defended by Ande Tukumba. And it's Lowry penetrating. And again, it's Toronto converting. It hasn't happened as quickly as he would have liked, but he's finally putting some points on the board in this game. Bucks trail by eight. Lopez, a screen on Lowry. Holiday, the pass to Andre Jacumbo. Here's Lopez. It's blocked by Baines. It's on Lowry. Number 43, Lopez covering. It's off his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. Milwaukee making a switch. Toronto calls timeout. Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason for this timeout. And if that happens, I think they can improve and start playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen one. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Holiday off the pitch from Lopez. Holiday attacking. Uses both hands to slam it down. That's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. Poke loose. He feeds it to Bain. Outside Lowry. From outside the arc. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. Bucks trail by nine. It's three on three on the fast break. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got nine points. Well, you knew he'd win that race. Definitely. I mean, that's what you call early offense. Bucks have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Holiday's got eight points here in this quarter. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off. Get the defense all over. Back to Lowry. And they're pushing it up. The dish to Middleton. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. Here's Holiday. Boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is, and so they will award the basket there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. The fans don't like that call one bit. Well, the officials got an earful as a result. Now let's take a moment to see the teams that lead the league in field goal percentage. Fifth best, the Bucks. You know, this team has been outstanding in terms of shooting percentage. Any team that can shoot this well can only give themselves a much better chance to win. They share the ball, they take high-quality shots, and they're always on the same page offensively. Bucket there, and I'll tell you what, that was an important shot. Yeah, it sure was, Steve, because it stopped the bleeding a little bit, and uh, now they've got something positive to hang their hat on. And the pass to Lowry. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Milwaukee making a switch. Lopez is checked in. Is it three off the inbound? And it's Kyle Lowry with the three. And now a six-point Toronto lead. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Zero. Offensive rebound. Number 24 gets it to go. He's got 11. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. 
That's what they're looking for down the stretch. Clark, more of the same. Get it inside. Rejected by Lopez. Zero. Now recovering. Pass to Lopez. Buries it down low. Assistant. Lopez has got eight points. In Toronto, they've gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. OG defended by Middleton. Baines. Great ball movement here by the Raptors. A shot by Lowry. No good. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 14 to 5 run here. He kicks to Middleton. For the lead. Shot is no good. Toronto's going downtown to watch since halftime. They've missed five of their nine attempts out there. Here's OG. Misses off the right iron. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. And the dunk by Lopez. Well, the grimace of pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. And you see a player have to come out of a game like this. I mean, you just hope for the best. That's exactly right. You do hope for the best. You cross your fingers, say a prayer, and hope it's nothing major. We'll see what the update is here shortly. Milwaukee making a switch here. On to Takumbo, who's checked in. A chance now to check out the schedule for Milwaukee. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. For Toronto, they have gone 8 of 13 from the free throw line. Well, it seems like they're having a lot of trouble at the line today, and it's just been that kind of a day. The Raptors making a switch here. Milwaukee's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Holiday dishes to Lopez. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And that's 12 points for Brooke Lopez. How about the field goal percentage shooting this half, guys? It's gone through the roof. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Milwaukee with the ball. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's Holiday. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Raptors shooting well, 50% from the floor. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, Kevin. <laughs> I think some urgency from him there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. There's the feed to Lopez. Shot to the Outside Lowry. There's one for three. No good on that last second attempt there. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. NBA season is in full swing. The Memphis Grizzlies take on the Phoenix Suns next Monday night. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Raptors. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. And for Milwaukee, we've got Holiday. Chris Middleton is out there with Andy DeCumbo. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Bucks trail by five. And here's Holiday. Lopez left side. Shoots from the block. And the shot is long. Fires for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. On to Jacumbo, has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding gets the bucket. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Number 23, guarded by Holiday. From deep. They get it back, can't get it to go. Bucks trail by three. And blocked. And the whistle.
Marshall stops gameplay. It's not a clean block shot. Instead of shooting foul, and we'll see free throws come up right here. Free throw, good holiday. Milwaukee making a switch here. And he makes the first, but misses the second. They'd have loved to cut it to one there. But they're still in decent shape if they can get a stop. Lowry from outside. And again, Toronto no up. Well, they're fortunate. Defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Shot is off. Hey, I like creativity and a circus finish as much as anybody. But you better be sure you got a chance to make it. And saved a likely dunk there. Yeah, very smart foul under the circumstances. You can't allow him to just throw it down. On the first one falls. Brook Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. That one is no good. Bucks trail by three. Number 24 feeds to Holiday. Shot is blocked. Oh, gee, the big oh, 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 it down that time. <laughs> and this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Holiday gets the bucket. He can be dangerous from outside. Sure, he didn't get one to go in the first, but we know he can get on the roll and knock him down. To the paint. Rejected by Lopez. Kicks to Tucker. Here's to Holiday to take the lead. It's rebounded by Baines. In Toronto, they've gone two of seven from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Here's a key. Drops it in from 14 feet away. And one points in the game. Well, he's flipped the switch here in the fourth quarter. That's three of four shooting here. Just tuning in. Welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Tries to save it. This is a delay. And that is good. And it's a six-point Raptor lead. Defender a little hesitant to offer resistance as he bursts to the hoop. Milwaukee's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah. Guys, I think he feels like he can make a few improvements during this timeout. Just kind of make a couple of adjustments, get his club back on track. You know, coaches are always tweaking and tinkering with things mid-game. Actually, sometimes they overdo it. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, guys. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. With a deficit as we approach the final buzzer, he stayed up the saying, listen, we can battle back, fellas. Just stay with me. I need all out effort here, and we can bring it home. Fellas? We watched Holiday play great basketball. He has 17 points and two blocks. He's just been making one play after another from one baseline to the other, covering the whole court. Full throttle up and down the court. He has not let up one bit. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. Raptors leading by four. OG defended by Middleton. Here's OG. And fouled hard oh, that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Shooting for Toronto. I know. And he makes the first. They didn't shoot it well from the line in the first half. But they've turned it around here, and it's helped them secure the lead. I mean, free throw shooting is important when you're trying to pad a lead. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. And Tucker gets to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Noah. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. OG defended by Middleton. It's stolen. He 
here's Holiday. Soft touch on the glass. Holiday's got 18 points just in the second half. Lowry with the ball, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Beyond the arc. Rebound, Milwaukee. Holiday's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Stripped away. Fast break, Toronto. It's rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Open shot. Lopez buries the jumper to finish the break. And now just a one-point Toronto lead. Toronto's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. That's good. And the Raptors lead by three. That's some grit and determination in the post. Uh -huh. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. And this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Raptors have gone 5 and 12 in the field, entering the fourth quarter. Lowry. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Let's look at what Kyle Lowry's been doing. He has 18 points, and he's added to his numbers by hitting four shots from the three-point line. Well, 12 points from long range, so the defense has to figure out a way to defend him a little differently, try to get into his airspace. He's got ice water in his veins, fellas. No way he's going to miss from the line when the game's still hanging in the balance. I've seen him make too many in this situation. Outside Holiday. Shot clock at six. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point guard sometimes. Yeah, Clark. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best mm -hmm. of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. OG defended by Middleton. Rebounded by the Bucks. Outside Holiday. He passes to Tucker to tie it up. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his sixth assist on the night. There's the pick. Outside Lowry. And they come right back with their own three point. Holiday's got 23 points. And out of the football is checked in for BJ Tucker. One nineteen left in the fourth. Holiday, the pass to Anda to Kumbo. Back to Holiday. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors are taken the other way. Still a Raptors ball. Raptors leading by three. Lowry gets a screen from Baines. Lowry dishes to Baines. Comes up empty down low. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Pass to Lowry. Knocks down the trifecta. Maybe he just needed a little break at halftime because he's been raining down threes ever since. Holiday attacking. And the defense in that position. They whistle a blocking foul and they'll go to the line. He hits the first one and that brings them within two. And so he makes both from the line. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Clark could be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see some long possessions out of them going forward. And you can count it. They'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. One shot. Well, the M1 turns this into a two-possession game. Costly foul on that play. Milwaukee's gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Into Brooke Lopez. 
and that's an intentional foul. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. That's good, but on one or two from the line, and that puts them up by five. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They trail by five. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. On to Takumbo, gets to Holiday. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. We've got 13 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And now they decide to foul intention. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. The free throws go down, and the lead goes up. Number 24. It's money from deep. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the intentional foul there stops the clock. Split on the first, and that puts them up by far. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a six-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. And another three for Milwaukee. And so the big win by Toronto in a tight game. Look, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. 